Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today we are getting to look at two more new Polly Pocket sets. The Unicorn Floaty set and the Flower Garden Bunny set. So here we are with the Unicorn Floaty. So it of course it comes with this purple cord. Yank that off. And the set itself is just this giant unicorn floaty. The whole set is this very light purple, sparkly, shimmery color. Very similar to my nail polish actually. And we have these four yellow shines on the front. We have a deep pink unicorn tail and a little unicorn head here with a yellow horn, deep pink hair, a pink cheek, closed eye, of course. If you go around to the back, you see the hair wraps around to the other side as well. And of course, we just have a gold heart here on the front. I really like the color scheme of this set. I don't think it's really any different from typical colors you see in New Polly Pocket. I think I just like how very pink it is up top and how very blue it is down below. So up here, we are obviously in the sky, in the clouds. We have a big pink cloud here with star cutouts. We see little stars in the background. And we have a peg here to put an accessory. We have a shooting star here that has a place for a doll to be clipped on so the doll can shoot across the sky in the shooting star. Behind the star in the track there, you can see this gradient rainbow, very pretty. Here we have this big yellow star and it has this see-through slide attached to it. We do have a couple of pegs here and cutouts of hearts, stars, and moons. If we flip this down out of the way, we can see a big cozy, comfy blue chair mixed in with some blue clouds. We see a moon, a star, a big umbrella, a couple of drinks here and a peg. I really like the background. It's very glossy, very rainbow, very pretty. We see a unicorn in the clouds there. Lots of hearts and shimmers. And just a little beach scene here with another unicorn sleeping by the water. It's just very colorful and so pretty. As you can see, the slide goes down into the water below on the bottom part of the compact. You would fill all of this up with water. Am I going to do that here on this video? Mm, no, probably not because I don't really Really like putting water in my sets. But if you get this set, you can definitely try it out for yourself. So down here on the bottom, we have these steps going down into the ocean. We can see some purple starfish shells. We have this little diving board, I guess. It's another shooting star, but in pink this time, we have a peg here. When you would fill this up with water, this would float. Looks almost like it clips onto something, but I think it's just made this way so that it floats on the water. Over here, we have this big yellow moon with stars. This actually flips open and now it becomes a sandy beach area where you can put a couple of items. We see a beach ball, some flip-flops, a blanket, and underneath we have a couple of chairs and I guess this would maybe be a hot tub. I'm not sure, but it's also a handy spot to store some of your accessories. And the unicorn head actually flips up like this so that when you're playing you would have everything like this. So when you're playing the unicorn head isn't just laying down flat, it's actually up. So it looks like a little floaty, very cute. Now for the accessories for the unicorn floaty set. Since it is the water theme, we get another picture this time in blue. We have a couple of these white lawn chairs. We also get this little moon swing that we have seen before. This time it is on a lilac base. The moon is yellow as usual and it just rocks back and forth. We get this orange sun swing, which clips onto the set right here. Unfortunately, mine came damaged. You can see on the bottom, it looks like the swing was melted or something. My dolls won't sit in the swing. They just fall right out. A little disappointing. We get a yellow star, a yellow moon, and an orange star. What would you call these decorations that can just be put on the little pegs on the walls or the floor or wherever you would like. I love this one, a light purple shell. You can open it up and it has a white pearl inside. So cute. We also get these two unicorn floaties, this one in purple, this one in orange. They're made a little different than we have seen their other floaties before. These ones are not rubbery and they're hollow on the bottom, but I'm sure that is so that they will float better on the water. These are also color changing, so we will check that out in just a minute. We get this cute little guy, we've seen him before, this purple and pink unicorn. 
and we get these two dolls Polly and I'm not sure of her name Polly is wearing purple heart glasses on her head her clothes are purple her shirt has a heart on it this little lady's hair is partially up and partially down her clothes are pink with some yellow details here on the shirt and to test the color changing feature here is our orange floaty we're going to put it in hot water and it just changes to a very light pink. Now for the purple floaty. It also changes to pink. Next up is our flower garden bunny set. This one is so cute, very, very springy and just adorable. I love this little bunny face. We have these two big white and pink ears sticking out and they feel more rubbery. They're not bendy or anything, just not the typical plastic of the set. They just feel a little different. She's wearing a beautiful crown of yellow flowers. She has big purple eyes, adorable pink heart cheeks, a purple nose, and of course her little bunny teeth sticking out. And you can see three little whiskers on both sides of her nose. I also love the back that they put all these beautiful flowers on the back. So cute. And one thing I really love is that the ears aren't hollow on the back. So often they'll do that if something sticks off the set. They don't fill in the back and it just looks cheap. But these ears, they are solid. I'm so happy for that. I wish they had done that with the crown of flowers though. It unfortunately is still hollow on the back. And of course we get a purple cord that I always take off and the typical gold heart for the closure. Mine unfortunately came like this, sticking up a little, which means my set doesn't close all that well. Up top here on the left, we have a big orange tree house. We can see the tree down here. We also see a hive. We see some honeycomb in there with a pitcher on top. We can actually open up the leaves of the tree, which reveals a little birdie in a nest, a couple of pegs in the leaves, and a couple of holes for a swing that comes with this set. Inside the tree house, we just see some binoculars, a checklist, a bean bag, and a backpack. Moving over here, we have this little purple bridge, I think, that we can flip down and we see some adorable little ducks behind there. We actually have some carrots growing here in the ground and we can actually lift that up by this little notch here. And it's like the carrots are coming up out of the ground. Cute. We have a cute little pink bunny house with two little bunny ears on top and inside we see the most adorable family of three white and pink bunnies. We have another peg here on the bunny house so we can put an accessory and we can even pull down the little ramp here so we can get into the little bunny house. How cute is that? The background is super glossy, super colorful, and super springy. Lots of flowers, butterflies, bees, bugs, the sun, a rainbow. Oh, I love it. We can even see a little frog hiding out under the little bunny house. Such a happy, happy scene. If we move down our little purple bridge, we get to another watery area. So we have this big pond, I guess. We can see some lily pads on the pond. We also have this little track with a green platform here that slides through the pond. We'll be able to put some accessories on here. We also have a yellow dock here with one peg and another little area area, another pond I guess, that we can hang out in. It has a yellow fence all the way around it. We have a couple of purple seats here and this little flower here in this yellow pot and we also have a lily pad with a peg on it and this lily pad spins. It's kind of hard to show you how it spins without having anything on it and of course we see some flowers and fish and this super glossy image on the bottom. Now of course we can't ignore this massive yellow and pink flower here in the middle. It has three pegs and just some extra little flowers on each petal and a heart there. This big flower here in the middle is spring loaded. You can push it down and it pops back up. And if you fill this with water and push this, water is supposed to spray out of these holes. Another thing pushing this flower is supposed to do is it's supposed to make this flower slowly raise up and just kind of bob up and down. For accessories, we get another pitcher, this time in pink. 
make little decorations, a purple flower, a yellow flower, and a pink butterfly. We get three pink flowers in this planter box. This is one of my least liked accessories. I really wish they wouldn't add these in the sets anymore. Super teeny tiny orange carrots. We also get this orange boat. It has two holes on the bottom because it can clip onto this green platform. And so you can sail along in the water on your boat. Another accessory to ride in the water is this beautiful purple swan. We get this pink swing. This time the bottom is intact and the swing just clips on right here into the leaves. We also get these two cute bunnies, one in purple and one in white. And we get two dolls. This time we get a boy with this set, which is really nice. He is wearing a green shirt with a frog on it and blue pants. And our girl doll is wearing a purple shirt with a bunny and a carrot and pink pants. Now for my two favorite accessories of this set. An adorable green frog and a yellowish orange duck. These are so cute. Never seen these before in a Polly Pocket set. This duck especially. Oh, I love it. The two color changing accessories in this set is the ride on swan and the duck. So the swan goes from this purple to this very light pink. And the duck goes from this yellowy orange to a brighter yellow. So there we go, the two newest Polly Pocket sets. Those are the last two of the series, which means we have now completed the four set series of these water themed compacts. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.